What is my dream? Well, to see uh, to see uh, dol dolphins uh, not in captivity anymore and just left alone. You know, they just want to be left alone. If you watch them in the wild, they're telling. They're actually telling us. You know, people are trying to communicate with dolphins from scientists. They are already communicating. We're just not listening. Same is true with a wolf. If you ever watch a wolf, a wolf is telling us very loud and very clear, leave me alone. You know, they're, they're backing off and they're, they're staying away, and the dolphins do the same thing, generally speaking. So they're telling us, I don't want to be in a stadium full of screaming people. I want to be in the wild, free ranging. We're just not listening. So I, that's what I do. I try to uh, try to speak for them if I can, because they don't really have a, a vote, they have a voice, they have body language, but we don't pay too much attention to their body language. I see progress. I see progress being made. Uh, for example, when I first started uh, campaigning in Europe and in, in Germany, for example, in many places in Germany, but at the Hagenbeck Zoo, uh, they closed it after many press conferences like this and people protesting and, and educating the public. <coughs> and the public becomes involved and the public, the public has all the power because the public is the consumers. The consumers have all the power and that's who we are appealing to, the public. Uh, well, what we would like to accomplish is um, to get to the consumers and ask them to please become part of the solution by not purchasing a ticket for a dolphin show. That's the message. That's the peaceful, gentle way to solve this problem. And um, if they do that, and the dolphinarium start implementing birth control, this industry will phase out and be replaced by something more cruelty free. So that's why I'm here today to appeal to the consumers, not the government. Governments protect corporations, <coughs> not people and other animals. It's up to us, the consumers. We have all the power to stop this. That's why I'm here. I, and I see that happening. I see a lot of places, you know, that are closing down and becoming and, and looking for cruelty free alternatives. Uh, Switzerland just passed a law banning the importation of dolphins into the country. Great progress. We were in the Solomon Islands where they killed thousands of dolphins each year. And we were able to sign a contract with the indigenous people. Now they don't kill any. And it's been two years since we signed this contract. So to answer your question, it's that kind of progress that keeps me going. It's not guilt. Uh, looking back, it, you know, looking backwards, uh, I see where those years with Flipper actually empowered me and enabled me to discuss this from both sides of the issue.